Hi guys. Today I am going to explain you about uh, flow cell switches and how it is being connected to PLC to control the compressor system. So let us begin with what is flow switches. The flow switches are used to detect or find the flow of fluids. Either it may be a liquid or it may be a gas. So it is a very important and uh, essential application in industry. In many uh, industrial application, we need to find out the flow. So let us see a simple example in this video. So let us see first what is a flow switch. Flow switches are used to detect the movement, as I said earlier, movement of air or liquid through a duct or pipe. Airflow switches are often called sail switches because the sensor mechanism resembles a sail. And airflow switches are often used in air conditioning and refrigeration circuits to give a positive indication that the evaporator or condenser fan is operating before the compressor is permitted to start. This is one simple example. So this, this is what the example I am going to uh, show you in, in this video. So the flow switches are looks like this. And the symbol is represented in this way. Normally open flow switch and a normally closed flow switch. And let us go to the control circuit and power circuit of today's example. I am going to have a compressor which is going to work only when the condenser fan motor and evaporator fan motor both works and blows the air so that the compressor gets on and also I'm going to have a thermostat to control the temperature of this compressor system. So the control circuit shows the thermostat will start the process. So when the thermostat is reached to the set temperature, it is going to close the circuit. The control relay is going to get activated. Once the control relay is get activated, the fan motor that is condenser fan motor and evaporator kind of fan motor both are going to function and because of that the air flow is going to take place that flow will be detected by this flow sensor here for a condenser fan uh, flow sensor as well as the evaporator flow sensor will be detecting the air flow once this air flow is available then the switches is going to get closed and the compressor is going to be in on condition so this is the logic which is going to be used for controlling this compressor motor let us see how the wiring is done for this again i use the same delta plc and uh, i have three sensors are uh, the switches which is going to be connected in the input module. I have a thermostat, which is going to direct the temperature. And this thermo, uh, thermostat is going to say only on and off. This is a digital input. It's a, not an analog input. And again, we have a flow switch, two numbers, one uh, for the evaporator flow switch, and then the another one is a condenser flow switch. So these both flow switches are going to be connected to the input module. So all these sensors are going to act as a sourcing devices and the PLC input module is going to act as a sinking module. And in the output side, we have three contactors. I have not shown here uh, the overload release. So I have just uh, shown only the contactor part. So these three contactors are going to control these three motor according to the output coming from the PLC. So the PLC is going to decide when the contactors sh should be on and so that the motors can be on and off. OK, so let us see code or the ladder logic for this particular application. So we have thermostat named it as a X0. So when the thermostat is on, so the control relay is going to be get on and once the control relay is on, then it is going to activate the condenser fan motor and evaporator fan motor. So both of them are going to blow the air so that the compressor flow switch and the evaporator flow switch are going to 
get closed so once these two switches are get closed the compressor is going to get on and it is going to work until all these three conditions are satisfied if any one of this condition either the thermostat is get off or the condenser fan motor is not working or the evaporator fan motor is not working if any one of this condition not satisfied the compressor is going to be get off okay so let us see the ladder logic so with let me simulate this. Let me transfer the program and uh, keep the PLC in run condition. And OK, so now let us uh, simulate this. So I'm going to set on this thermostat. So once the thermostat is on, the control relay is getting on so that the condenser fan motor and the evaporator fan motor. So this means this condenser motor, this output from the PLC is going to actuate the contactor and the contactor is going to drive the condenser fan motor. And here this coil, once it gets energized, the output of this is going to energize the coil of the contactor which is connected to the evaporator fan motor so that the coil energizes so the contactor will get close and the fan motor the evaporator fan motor will work so once these two fan motors are working so the air will blow so that here this compressor flow switch is going to be on and the evaporator flow switch is also going to be on so that the compressor is going to be get on and the compressor is going to get run as well so if any one of these condition failed say for example the thermostat temperature reached the preset value yeah so i should have kept this uh, cursor here so what happens here the control relay will go off so that the compressor will go off so uh, before itself it was off because of this i put off this uh, which instead of uh, switching off this thermostat. Yeah, so this is how it is going to work in a real time. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.